Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am here in Blackpool. I am in the central area. I'm just off the main road here that comes right into central Blackpool Seaside this way just up here. This is Rigby Road down here. You can see Blackpool Tower in the background there. We've also got another Blackpool Tower right here. Check out this radio mast. How far back does that go? But this area here where I am now used to be very industrial. There used to be a lot of factories and stuff around here. We're just by the old railway, of course, which used to go right into Central Station there. They got rid of that in the 1960s. We've now got a, well, it was a cinema just over there, the Odeon. Uh, that's where the old rugby ground used to be, Borough Park. Who remembers Sticks Nightclub as well that used to be inside the grandstand? Now we've got a McDonald's and uh, after you've had your Big Mac you can, you can hop over into Bannertown's health spa and work off your Big Mac over there. But anyway, this video is about, it's a little bit of old news really, it's not new, this is not an exclusive, but uh, the developer that's supposed to be doing the three hundred million pound development of blackpool central of which they've completed the first phase with the multi-story car park just up there where this road leads to uh, they've appointed administrators yeah so uh, it could throw a spanner in the works um it's the last thing that blackpool need really isn't it because they were supposed to put us a super casino there remember years ago when we were bidding for a super casino and that never happened and then it went to Manchester and then even Manchester never got the super casino they've been trying to do something with this bit of land up here for ages we're going to take a little wander up there now and we'll have a little look so they've appointed administrators and uh, what's going to happen well we'll have to wait and see won't we So I thought I'd take a little walk up that way. I'll give you a little look at this area here. So these houses here are part of the Foxhall, or New Foxhall. I think it's New, is it New Foxhall Village or Foxhall Village? I don't know. But these were one of the first sets of houses to be built. So just over there, we've now got a Starbucks. We've got Club 3000 Bingo. There's a lot been going on here over the last 20 years, I can tell you. Somewhere around about here, there was, um, I think it was where Bannertown's is, they had a massive, like, gasometer there. Some of you might know better than me, but I think it was, I think it was just there where Bannertown's is, yeah, the big gasometer. But anyway, we'll just take a little look up there and uh, up that way, where the central development is supposed to be taking place. But we'll just take a, a little look this way. There's the football ground over there, you can see more of these houses here. And we've got the coach station there. Loads of coaches, by the way. There's lots of people coming into Blackpool today. This road is pretty busy. So uh, let's go and take a look up here, shall we? Yeah, look at all these people coming in. So this road here, if you come along this road, it, you can go into one of the car parks. We've got loads of little car parks along here, but you used to be able to come out of here and get onto Central Drive, but you can't do that now unless you go through the multi-storey car park up there. You can actually go through it and drive out the other side if you want to. But it's not quite as easy as it used to be. Let's have a little look this way, shall we? That's looking down on Blackpool Transport. They've got a new building here. I think that's for EVs, you know, the new buses, the electric buses. So we're looking down on the rest of this Foxhall development. Look at this here, look at this. Some people call them noddy houses, what do you reckon? And over there is where they're building the, uh, the, the latest phase to stuff. That's the one that was held up for years. It was held up for years, that phase over there, yeah. Oh, we've got another coach coming in now, check it out. So here's a look at the radio mast here. And I think that that gasometer was uh, certainly somewhere around here. But I'm now on this little bridge which goes over Princess Street. Now this is where the new Foxhall village houses meet up with the old Foxhall, just up here. So on the right hand side, just up here, that's the old Foxhall. And we've got the new Foxhall on the left hand side. Oldest part of Blackpool. Just go into this other car park here now, look. 
Christmas by the sea there. 15th of November is when it starts. Look at that there. So you got the date there. I wasn't sure when it was going to start. 15th of November until the 5th of January. There you go. You heard it here first. Can you hear that hum coming from this substation here? I'll tell you what, we need a bit of power in Blackpool, don't we? And this is where probably a lot of it comes from. Up to three hours, four pounds, six hours, seven pounds, 12 hours, 11 pounds. You know, it does me head in when you, you're parking somewhere and then you're trying to think, how long do you want to park for? And you've got to decide, haven't you? You know, do you just stick it on 12 hours and pay the 11 pound? You know, if you're going to be here all day. Yeah, anyway, there's plenty of cars in here, so they must be making a bit of money today. Check out all these coaches here behind me, wow. Hey, I tell you what, we're doing pretty well in Blackpool today, aren't we? But uh, there's trouble in store for this development. The, uh, the firm known as Nikal has filed a notice of intention. I'm reading this from the Place Northwest website. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to read it in full. They've had a leadership exodus, so they've lost half the board, or maybe more than half the board, actually. So uh, they've had to call in administrators. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to put a bit of a spanner in the works, and they reckon it's going to definitely slow down the progress. Now, we've got the car park, of course, which is just up here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. 1,300 space car park. But if this development doesn't go ahead as planned, and we've got this massive car park, is that going to be a bit of a... So I'm just at the back of this hotel here. It says it's the Angerly Hotel, or the Angerly Hotel. Uh, doesn't look in the best of condition. And uh, if you look down here, my goodness, that's a bit of a mess, isn't it? God, I'll tell you what, I think that could do with clearing up, couldn't it? Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? What else is, can't go over all these coaches. They're coming in as we speak. So here's the arse end of this coach here. It's uh, a Leon's. And uh, they do pretty well, don't they? Because they can all afford these uh, personalised plates. So I'm just coming to the end of the coach park now, and this is interesting. This is new, this folks, look at this here. We, they've put a gate up here saying, no pedestrian access there. Well, I think I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> I want to show you that car park. There, look. So there you go. That was the first phase. That's all finished and done. There's loads of people walking up here. What are they trying to stop people walking along here for? Walking up there for? When you can, you can just walk along this path here. There's loads of people coming out to the car park. There, look. So I don't know what that's all about, folks. But anyway, this is the area in question. All this here. Check it out. All that there. Is it going to get done? Well, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it does seem a bit daft uh, why they put that gate there to stop pedestrians walking along this part of the pavement when, as you can see, it leads all the way to the car park. Yeah, and it's, it's not stopping people, is it? But anyway, let's have a, let's have a good look at this area now. So there you go. Obviously, see the tower there? That's where Central Station used to be up there, where the Coral Island is. The old Central Railway Station. We've got the cop shop in the background, of course. That's supposed to be coming down this winter. Yeah. But, uh, well, <laughs> we might need to put that on hold. The, the courts over here, the magistrate's courts. Oh, it's looking pretty busy. Look at all these people here. This is Chapel Street. It leads all the way to the Central Pier. Check it out. So there you go, just a quick video for you. It's not an exclusive by any means. The story came in last week and uh, I, uh, I thought about doing a video on it and uh, I did in the end. So uh, I'll put a link in the description to the news story so you can read more about it yourself. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, is it going to put a spanner in the works of this development? Or maybe oh, it might. Oh, shit, 
hey, it's never easy, is it? You know, uh, there's always something. It's going to take a long time. I know it's going to take a long time to do. I've been saying that all along, but uh, when the company goes into administration, when half the board leave, it's uh, not a good sign, is it, really? But we're going to have to just wait and see what happens, aren't we? Uh, you never know. It might just still go ahead as normal. You never know. It might not cause any trouble at all, but uh, I don't think it's the best sign. I'll link in the description to the news so you can read about it for yourself. It's not an exclusive, like I said, but uh, you can read it in the description and find out a bit more for yourself. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.